All right, here we are again, folks, with another metalworking video. Um, I'm just doing a little teaser here about this hood that I uh, did for this 32 Ford here. Um, the uh, radiator's been moved forward about two and a half inches, and it's going to be one of those one-piece hoods that can open from either side. Um, what I did was just took and bent some angle and then used the shrinkers and stretchers right there and uh, made this I'm not gonna move the hood but this fits down inside the radiator there um, right right there where the uh, where the hoods supposed to fit so this was I was able to use this as my bending template for the front of the hood and then I have the other one here for the cowl section and uh, so that was my template for when I was doing the stuff in the rollers and uh, came out pretty good I've got a little touch-up work to do on the uh, on the gaps here, but it's looking pretty good. But that's just a teaser. What I was uh, really wanting to show you is uh, that you don't need a whole lot of stuff to do some pretty cool metal shaping. Um, I can't take credit for this idea. I saw some guys from a motorcycle shop that were doing some really nice tanks and stuff, and they had made the metal stump. And... Um, the only thing that I did was I added the wheels so that it's uh, you know, easier to, to just rock it back and you can move it around. Um, they had welded a piece on like this, and that is really handy. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, for compound shapes, when you're doing curves like on a fender uh, that's got to roll this way with the fender and then roll on the edge of the fender. Uh, the other modification that I did was to do a square uh, receiver here and do a set screw on an angle this way when this tightens up it can tighten up on any size um, that'll fit down in there uh, even around uh, it'll tighten up in there because it just pushes it to the opposite corner and um, I'll show you that in a in a minute um, the other thing that I was gonna mention before I put the camera in the uh, stand and demonstrate that. Um, I have my post vise in the middle. I think I've put this in some other videos in the middle of the floor so you can get all the way around it. But one of the things I do when I'm making my T dollies is weld the part that's going to go in the vise like this for two reasons. One, when it goes down in the vise, you know, you're always hitting on the dolly and it wants to sink down in the vise while you're hitting. Well, if you put this on there, it can't sink but that far. And then the other thing is, now that you know, you've got your dolly in here this way, but you can also put it in this way, and now it hangs out over the edge and you can work with it. In, so you've got, you can work with it 90 degrees as well as straight up. So just having that extra piece welded on the side of there just gives you so many advantages. So just a little little tip and trick there. Um, back to the metal stump. When you cut the tank off, uh, you know you cut it off to a good height here for, for using it. And then you can use the bottom of the tank, the, the rest of the tank, and I'll show you these pieces. Uh, actually, I'll put the camera in and I'll, that way I'm not trying to do this one-handed. Hang on here. All right. Um, so this was uh, what was cut off the, of the uh, other end of the tank. And I just I rounded this part and cut this part off square. So now I've got different shapes to, to hammer around. Uh, this, this part was the top of the tank where the, uh, here, where you would put your, your cap, you know, this is where the valves were. So this, this is where that set, you had your, your valve was in here. So that's that part of the, the tank, and that gives you this wonderful shape. It's almost like a football dolly. And the other thing I did was put sound deadener in the bottom of it, just like you put in the floorboard of your hot rods. So now when I, when I hit it, it doesn't ring like a bell. Um, and so this is what I was saying about you can put this in and it just tightens right up to the, to the opposite corner. And 
then if you wanted to use now here's what I did with with my with the top that came off of this I did that tea dolly trick like I was talking about and uh, now like I say this is a smaller piece of square tubing that I used but it doesn't matter because it still pushes it into the opposite corners and it's still just as steady no matter uh, no matter which side you, you're using um, so I put all of those pieces in here and hey, you can turn this any way you want however you need to to shape things over it you, get, you know square edge or whatever um, also this here was the end off of a hydraulic cylinder off of a big front end loader. Um, I just cut it off the end of the, of the hydraulic cylinder and welded it onto a square tubing. So I can put that in there and a uh, nice ball shape to hammer over. Uh, have my another T dolly like, like the one I was talking about over there so that I can hammer over this way or hammer over that way, you know, wherever you need it in there. Um, but, as you can see, um, there's just an old oxygen bottle, and you've got the nice hollow here, and you've got a, a place to put all your, your steak dollies. Um, so, uh, I'm sure people want to know how it works. Um, so the first thing, I get out my uh, my baseball bat and uh, you know, trying to make this hollow out something in here. Uh, you can do a nice tuck shrink on this thing. It works pretty well. Let's see if I let turn it here. Yeah, I don't guess it matters. All right. So you can do a hold up a nice tuck there. Not exactly where I thought it was going to come up, but. But you can see I did get a nice touch, so I can uh, work that. You can do another one. There we go. That that pulled up a really nice tuck. So now we can we can work that. And it doesn't take long. To, there you go. That pulled up a, a, a nice tuck again. And it doesn't take very long then. up a nice beginnings to a bowl shape. So there you can do that. You see it works well for that. Uh, if you put your put your pieces like this in you could just use this to just shape a piece of material, bend a piece of material. Actually this isn't shaping yet. And then This piece here, uh, normally I would do this this way. Uh, so now if you're looking to, to do a compound shape, gives you the perfect edge to do that over. So there's another shape you can do, a compound curve in both directions. That'd be the nice edge of a fender or if you're doing wheel tubs on a car. Uh, anything like that. Uh, the other advantage that I was talking about with uh, having having this so it will hold hold things laying flat. Well, sometimes you have to take up a little space in there. Be a little 
cantankerous, isn't it? Alright. I have a whole study enough for now. But having this turned 90 degrees, I think that stays there. If you're doing something similar, like if you're making trying to do the other half of this, having this laid flat is a big help. So this in the uh, in the vice on the other valley that I showed you first. So I wasn't prepared to fasten it into this state. And again, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with it, but um, if we get these two pieces that I was just you can see what I was talking about if, if you were doing wheel tubs that would be your match right there let's see what we can do about uh, making that fit a little better yeah and you can just pull it around the around the tank itself And now we should be closer to the shape. There you go. So now we're getting down to where it actually fits. So just some things that you can do. And um, didn't cost much money for the tooling. Just a little creativity. So feel free to build yourself a metal stump. They work well.